Want to get more traffic from YouTube? Then stick around because today I'm going to show you the three steps you need to follow to get more eyeballs on your YouTube videos and drive more traffic to your website. Hi, I'm Matt Holmes, founder of V8 Video Academy, where I help business owners, entrepreneurs and marketers to create amazing videos that grow their business, brand and audience online. With YouTube being the second largest search engine in the world, next to Google, who incidentally own YouTube, you'd be crazy to ignore using it as a way to generate leads and traffic to your website. Now, uploading random videos to YouTube is unlikely to work for you. You need to have some sort of uh, strategy behind you. And by the end of this video, you'll know the exact strategy you should be using. So let's dive right into it. Step one is video keyword research. Now you may have heard of keyword research before, particularly around the topic of search engine optimization and SEO. But if you haven't heard of it before, here's a definition from moz.com. Keyword research is a core SEO task that involves identifying popular words and phrases people enter into search engines, making an attempt to figure out what to rank for. However, keyword research for videos is slightly different to keyword research for websites for two reasons. Number one, most video views on YouTube come from YouTube suggesting videos to their viewers, not from search engines. Now that doesn't mean to say that you shouldn't optimize your videos for YouTube and Google search results. But it's worth bearing in mind that only around 15 to 25% of video views actually come from search queries. And the second reason that keyword research for videos is different to traditional keyword research is because people use YouTube in a completely different way to how they use Google. For example, a keyword that gets searched hundreds of thousands of times on Google, such as car insurance, would only get searched a handful of times on YouTube. On the other hand, a keyword such as funny dogs will get hundreds upon thousands of searches on YouTube, but very little on Google. So now you know the main differences between video keyword research and traditional keyword research, it's time for me to show you some of the keyword research techniques that I use for my YouTube videos. The first and easiest technique is using YouTube Suggest. Now you may have seen this when you're typing something into the Google or YouTube search bar. It works by suggesting popular search terms depending on what you've typed into the YouTube search bar. Now this may sound really straightforward, and it is, but don't underestimate it, because YouTube are actually telling you what other YouTube users are searching for. The next technique is using a free Google Chrome extension called TubeBuddy, and I've left a link to this in the description below this video. Once you've installed TubeBuddy, head over to one of your competitive videos on YouTube, and look down the right hand side and you'll see a section called Tags. TubeBuddy is showing you the exact tags that this person has used on their video. And if you click on the show search rankings button just below the tags, TubeBuddy will show you where this video ranks for those particular search terms. So using one or both of the techniques I've just been through here, choose a keyword that's super relevant to the content of your video. And remember that a keyword is made up of more than just a single word. In fact, you'll have much better results if you choose a keyword or key phrase if you like, that's made up of at least three or four individual words. For example, on this video, I chose the keyword, how to get traffic from YouTube. Now for the next few steps, you're gonna need a video to upload to YouTube. If you're brand new to video production or you need a few pointers, I've made a video just for you called how to make YouTube videos, which I'll link up for you. So you've created your video, now it's time to optimize it, which brings us neatly on to step two, a video optimization. Remember that keyword you chose in step one? It's time to put that to good use. Now video optimization is a massive topic on its own and I could talk about it for hours and hours, but in this video, I'm just gonna go through the essentials to get your videos moving up the YouTube search results. When you upload your video to YouTube, you'll be able to add details such as title and description and tags. And it's these details that are known as metadata. The first bit of metadata we're going to go through is the video title. The video title is one of the most important pieces of metadata for your video. And you've got two goals with the video title. The first goal is to satisfy YouTube's algorithm. The second goal is to encourage viewers to watch your video. So to satisfy YouTube's algorithm, you wanna put your keyword that you chose back in step one as near to the beginning of the video title as possible. So if I was making a video around the keyword video optimization, I might make my video title Video Optimization Techniques for YouTube. You also want to stand out in the YouTube search results and maximize your click-through rate by encouraging viewers to click through to your video. To do this, you need to add something to your video title that adds intrigue, curiosity, or excitement. 
So going back to our video optimization example from earlier, we could make it video optimization techniques for YouTube, 10 ways to boost your rankings today. The next piece of metadata we're going to cover is the video description. I always recommend writing a video description of at least 200 words because this will give YouTube and your viewers a greater understanding of the content of your video. Now what I see a lot of people doing is adding their website to the top of the video description. Now you want to avoid doing this because in the YouTube search results next to thumbnail, YouTube will display the first 20 to 25 words of your video description and you don't want to see your website in there. So what you want to do is add your website further down your video description. And if you do include a link to your website in your video description, which I highly recommend you do, make sure you add the HTTPS colon slash slash before your domain name. This will turn that link into a backlink and add another layer of video optimization. So in your video description, you should include your keyword that you chose back in step one within the first 20 to 25 words, as well as adding it in a further two or three times throughout the description. A brief overview of the content of your video and what viewers will get out of watching it and any links or resources you mention in your video. The third piece of metadata we're going to cover is video tags. Now video tags don't have the power they used to a few years ago but they do still play an important role in ranking your videos on YouTube. So what I recommend you do is choose five to ten tags for each video. The first of those tags being that target keyword you chose back in step one. The other tags you use should be closely related to that target keyword. And always make sure that one of your tags is your YouTube channel name. This will help your videos to show up down the right hand side of the YouTube watch page of your own videos as well as your competitors videos. The final step in this process I want to show you is video promotion. As I mentioned earlier, only around 15 to 25% of your video views will come from search results on YouTube and Google. So while it's crucial to optimize your videos for search, you can't rely on it to deliver all the results. You need to use some other strategies to get your videos discovered. So here's some promotional strategies for your YouTube videos. Promotional strategy number one is to get social. It may sound really simple and straightforward, but it can be really, really powerful. So once your video is live on YouTube, head over to your social media channels, whether that be Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. Write a short description about your video, what your viewers are going to get out of it, add a thumbnail, copy and paste the YouTube link and post it. Promotional strategy number two is to email your list. Having an email list in today's digital world is one of the best assets you can have as a business owner or entrepreneur. So once your video is live on YouTube, email your list and tell them about it. If you have a good size email list, this method can give your video views a real spike and can even get your video onto the home page of YouTube which in turn will drive more traffic to your video and your YouTube channel. The last strategy I've got for you is to embed your video on your website. Embedding your video on your website is great because it acts as a backlink to your video and therefore acts as a strong ranking signal to YouTube. For even more search engine optimization or SEO juice, you can add a transcript of your video to the page that your video is embedded on on your website. This will act as even more content for Google to crawl and providing you've said some key words in your video, it's going to give your website a boost in the Google search rankings too. So there you have it, the three step process for getting more traffic from YouTube. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn even more about generating traffic from YouTube, I've created a free checklist just for you that goes through the 18 different ranking factors for YouTube and how to optimize your videos for each of them. If you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and if you want even more actionable content to grow your business, brand and audience online with video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.